Hey peeps, it's Andrecon. I'm here trying to, well, I'm about to embark on another uh, terrifying tundra. And we'll see how horribly this one goes. Probably just about the same. Single pick challenge, here we go. That's, well, uh, don't really care. They're all gonna die anyway. <laughs> Rumored silver, good enough. I doubt if you'll find silver though. Poor guys. Nope, and bark. And we'll see how we can die today. This might turn into a series of a thousand ways to die. In a terrifying biome. Oh, it's a new land for our kingdom. A land flowing with milk and booze. <laughs> Good luck finding the booze. And the milk. <laughs> you guys are screwed. Well, anyway, let's see what terrible place we have to play with today. Straight up, probably aquifers everywhere. We've got peat. And more peat. And... Sand. And sand and peat. I don't see any uh, stone on the outside. A hint? Anything? Nothing? Well, we'll see what happens. I can always just dig into the peat and see if I get flooded out or some stupid stuff. I'm just going to dig in about here. And uh, get a little bit of a dinky room going in here. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Oh yes, once again. I've got to tell people to go to work. You lazy bums, hurry up. Worthless SOBs. And uh, commit. There we go. Grab that stuff. Go ahead and remove the wagon. Run, motherfucker! <laughs> Need to have a marathon to the bottom. <laughs> go ahead and give me a downward stairway about here. And up down stairway below it. Several levels. And a little hallway to it. And there we go. Everything's ready to go. Well, crap. I didn't take long. <laughs> Just a uh, couple layers down, and we end up with more of this probably conglomerate. I hate that stuff. Conglomerate, you can go die. Well, I got a couple options. First of all, I actually have some non aquifer soil for once. And uh, I could do the drop um, trick for this, except. I don't have any stone at all. All I got is three pieces of wood. And I have to have either four pieces of wood or say three pieces of wood and a piece of stone in order to actually manage to um, do what I need to do if I was doing it one way with a bunch of pumps or a pump. Or the other method takes, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four takes at least uh, four pieces as well, so <laughs> either way I'm screwed. So I'm going to go ahead and try that other method with uh, trying to freeze through it. I'm going to have to make a channel. I'm just going to chuck it right about here. And uh, we'll see if I can manage to freeze through an aquifer. And uh, while I'm at it, I'll probably go ahead and make a, uh, another little way for, to get, for them to get out. And we'll see how this goes. Hmm, well, I dug down just a nudge with some stairs and happened to hit jet. Let's see, uh, nope, it's non-aquifers. Well, that's some good news. Man, I'll have to mess with it. That'd be a nice miracle. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, dig down here. Well, actually, I need to have a secure way to play with this, to be honest. Um, uh, actually, instead of doing this, I'm going to go ahead and move, build a little dinky... Uh, safe place shortly after the jet. So I need to have an up down stairway right there. Probably want to go down a couple levels. Three to be safe. And uh, once it gets down here, and hopefully if it's not aquifers underneath the jet, well, it's bauxite. And then. Ah! Uh, killed off after the fact. Man. Well, at least it's deeper. I might still have to freeze through it. Ah, oh, I hate aqua for so much. Okay, a little bit of success. I went ahead and dug down uh, all the way down to the aquifer, finally. Didn't take too long. And every spot he digs out turns into a piece of ice, except that one, because it was an aquifer. Huh. Well, anyway, should work. If I knew that was there, I probably would have been able to get around it. Eh, oh well. Still, it works! Freezing the aquifer. It works! Uh, well, it will. Hopefully. Let me see if I can go ahead and give myself a downward stairway and an up-down stairway through the aquifer. I think this will work. And for 
for some reason it did turned into a <laughs> something else. Oh well, it should still work. Uh, let's go ahead and give me a downward stairway here. Up down stairway, below that. Question marks? Maybe I'll get lucky and there's not an for right below. Of course there is. It just it has to be that way. More aquifer. Ooh, got lucky. Real lucky, I think. I think there is a little bit of an area here without aquifer. So let's try to go ahead and... That's not where I wanted that. Just try ahead and get through this mess. Uh, the fight with the aquifer. Oh no. Might even be a series on aquifer busting. Along with death, no, death left, right, up, down. <laughs> Please, no more aquifer layers. I beg of thee. Alright, looks safe enough. So, I'm gonna go ahead and build like a little safe area up in here. Alright, well I got this little room done and everybody's walking in. But, something weird happened in the oth this other room. A little shrub grew in there. I didn't expect that to happen. I I don't think there's a, those are supposed to start growing in, uh, unless you actually hit the caves. So, I'm going to tell somebody to gather it. See what happens. Uh, they most likely won't have any chance of getting a hold of it, but you never know, somebody might just happen to get some dinner. That'd be nice. So, uh, somebody, go to it. Oh, and uh, Miner, don't just be standing there. Go digging around. I need you to go do some work. Wow, somebody actually managed to gather the plump helmet. It's a miracle. So, uh, let's go ahead and grab that while my Miner digs away. Maybe I'll actually hit something one of these days. Uh, microcline. And normally a lot of people hate microcline, at least the default game, with uh, its no texture pack. Because it turns into like some sort of, sort of eye-searing light blue that, you know, gives you headaches or something. But this texture pack does a pretty good job of making it quite presentable and uh, easy enough on the eyes. And I think I once make, made a palace completely out of microcline and something that looked like microcline. But, uh, that was a long time ago. Yeah, one of the very few pieces of, uh, undead I actually have on this particular map at this time, decided to go attack. Fortunately, it's just some crappy little owl. So I can just, you know, kill the thing off. And, uh, shouldn't take too much effort to do so. Squad A... Is this it? Or did it go invisible? Mm, there it is. Squad A must have been flying. Good and, uh, Kill that thing off, so it'll leave me alone for a few minutes. <laughs> he just drops his pick. Ah. I guess he actually has to... Oh, somebody got injured or didn't like it. Oh well. Pilo don't care, and uh, I went ahead and dug these guys an aquifer spot right there so they can have something to drink. However, I've been thinking, I actually happen to have one piece of plump helmet here, and that's, well, technically food, and I have some stone down here. I, if I wanted to, I could just dig in my fortress in the side of this hill right here for now, uh, until I uh, actually possibly get a um, caravan or something. Of course, it's going to be an entire year before I actually get a caravan, but I wouldn't have to mess with the pure evil that the caves can be, at least not until I want to. It's an option. Maybe hmm. be able to get some more stone right here. Uh, I may actually try this option. Mm -mm, I got problems. Looks like my miner may have uh, seriously injured himself on that little owl. What a wuss. So, let's go ahead and see. Left hand is cut open, foot is cut open, lower body is bruised, pancreas is bruised. Uh, I don't think the left foot being cut open would really prevent him from walking, but... Uh, I could be wrong. Well, if nothing else, since he's deciding to just sit there, I'm going to go ahead and make somebody else a miner while I wait on him to heal up a little or die. Hopefully he won't die, because I don't really want to mess with his corpse right at the moment. So, uh, this guy can be it. Uh, commit. Zoom. And hopefully some, uh, thing interesting will go on. Oh, crap, the owl came back. <laughs> well then, squad A, go kill that thing, Plox. Darn owl, I hate these undead. They won't stay down. Of course, that is the way of the undead around here. So, well now the miner is even more injured. Unconscious at the moment. 
Somebody grab your stuff and run for your life, please. I think uh, somebody's trying to pick him up, but eh, maybe not. All right. Did I redesignate this a meeting area? I don't think I did. So this is now a meeting area. And I'm going to try sticking my place in here and try not to die right away. Unfortunately, since I've just got one plump helmet for whatever stupid reason, uh, it would take a long time before I can actually make that into much in the way of food. Unless I happen to get lucky and dig out enough area that maybe some fungus trees and more of these plump helmets and other weird crops happen to pop up. Um, it's just so weird. I mean, this stuff isn't supposed to grow here without me hitting a cave. So I don't quite understand at this point. It doesn't make any sense. Might be a little glitch or something. Oh well. Well, somebody stuck their head out a little bit too far and now is being chased by everything on the map. <laughs> or almost everything. So he's probably going to be another corpse on the pile any minute. Unless he just happens to fight off a whole bunch of little birds. Nope, one hit and he's down. Jeez, man. Well, anyway, I managed to go ahead and uh, lock this off. <laughs> With five people left alive. Oh, man. This is going bad. Ah. Well, hopefully I'll get lucky and some more stuff will grow, but I'm not particularly hopeful. <laughs> well, everybody's starving to death. Somebody went and took a meal, so I got a seed to work with. And I got somebody who's about to go plant the thing. And I got a little aquifer down here that people can go take a drink out of. But other than that, it's not looking good. I don't know how long it takes for everybody to starve to death. But uh, I don't know if uh, a little bit of food's going to be made from planting. Or if people are going to starve to death first. Either one. <laughs> it's hard to say. So, uh, things are still not doing all that great. But it still looks like at least the floor fungus is spreading around in here. I don't know by what glitch that's deciding to do it, but um, still decently good news. If uh, the whole floor decides to turn into floor fungus, maybe I can get some fungus trees going, growing in here and eventually have some wood. And then these people can eventually sleep on a bed. That'd be a miracle. Well, it's starting to get bad. Everybody's canceling their jobs just so they can go hunt for uh, food. And I'm saying hunt like rats for food. That's bad. <laughs> well, that uh, bit of crops are taking their sweet time. Uh, anybody fishing? Maybe. What are you up to? He's starving. Hunting for a small creature. Well, this is bad news. Most of them could die at any moment, and I might be left with the one guy that happened to get a meal. That could really suck. It's a miracle! Some food grew! Maybe somebody will live. If somebody decides to go pick it up. <laughs> I think they're all too busy. Anyway, I might have to suspend this guy from doing that, so he can actually uh, go farm. Uh, dude, go for him. Thank you. And let's see if anybody decides to go eat. Everybody dashed for it. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Poor everybody else that didn't get a meal. So, who's getting the meal today? It was Seelob already, and he's a peasant. He probably isn't doing anything important. Uh, Seelob, Seelob. This person right here. There's my mason. And, uh, I'm going to go ahead and give them... Oh, they already got architecture. Good, because I'm going to need that for something I'm about to do. Um, basically, I need to get a hold of that wood, if possible. And I'd like something faster than building and destroying a wall. So, I'd like to put a little bridge right here. And, uh, see if I can get out and grab that, possibly. Oh, somebody else grabbed a meal. That's good news. Uh, maybe I just happen to have people that might live today. Um, got some seeds sitting around. Well, I gotta make more mechanisms and do some stuff before I can build that bridge. Well, I could go ahead and designate the bridge, I suppose. Uh, let's see, what was it? G? Capital G? No, regular G. Yes. I want it to retract up ways, do I? Uh, yeah. And I want it to be, say, that big. Yeah, that'll work. 
And uh, just um, put it right there. And the conglomerate will do the trick. Well, according to my map, uh, all the enemies are uh, southeast, so I think now's my chance to go grab some wood. Just need to make a little wood stockpile. Um, P, W. Just uh, throw it right here for now. Somebody go remove the construction right there. And uh, we'll go grab some wood. Yeah, yeah! Hopefully, I won't get completely attacked and maimed by everything once I step out. And, uh, yeah, I got a way to seal things off, so it's a miracle. I unfortunately still have two to three people running around starving to death, and I had to already replant my fields, so, um, <laughs> I don't have a whole lot of hope for, apparently, my minor militia leader, or whatever he is, captain of the guard, whatever. So, what happened to my wood? <laughs> Literally, as soon as I destroy that, my wood just completely disappeared. What's going on here? You seen that? I seen that. WTF? Darn glitches. Ah. Uh. Oh, well, I guess uh, somebody ran out and grabbed it somehow. <laughs> well, uh, as I thought, everybody, well, everything just runs after us. <laughs> uh, I hope this guy doesn't have a, my pick on him. Uh, let's see. Wound. Nope, I need inventory. Copper pick! Wonderful. Well then. What the fudge. Well, this is a good time to close the door. Uh, I don't know what to do about the pick. Maybe a migrant will bring one <laughs> one of these days. Whew, that was close. <laughs> he almost walked right in. Man. Well, let's see uh, what's going on with my miner here. Uh, mm -hmm, miner, this guy here. Zoom. And uh, go ahead and follow him for the moment. Uh, F, follow, yes. Run for your life, man! Save yourself! Summertime has come. There is a miracle. Summertime. Uh, <laughs> run! <laughs> I might actually get some migrants soon, though I don't have a whole lot of hope for them actually making it to my door, but you never know. This guy might do a good trick at, uh, well, uh, distracting all these guys. Honestly, he's got quite a head start. I think they gave up on him. Huh. He might live. Whoa. What the hell's all this? Something's been fighting down here. Uh, this must have been where that horse died. And just kind of thinking, what to do, what to do, huh. Well, just a few moments later, I uh, look away and I can't find my miner anywhere. Well, he must have died somehow. <laughs> I didn't notice or hear anything about any sort of report or anything. He's just straight up gone. I wonder what happened to him. Well, anyway... I think that's about enough for one episode. If you wonder why the uh, last two, three episodes hadn't been, nobody's been getting dwarfed, well, that's because I recorded all these on the last, on the same day as I lost the first one. <laughs> so uh, I'm probably gonna have to stop now, and uh, we'll see how this goes. Also, I'm running on to space, so I'll catch you guys later, and we're all gonna die.